Okay. Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey at Ripe Color, and this is Nancy Jean in the garden. <laughs> and this is your reading for uh, November 26th, the day after Thanksgiving. I hope you're feeling very satisfied and not too full. Okay. Yes. So the, uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. Um, I offer private readings. I have a textile. I, I make textiles uh, on my site. Ripe Color and Nancy Jean has lovely uh, grids where you could read your own fortune. Uh, gardens where you could read your own fortune as well as grids, which can help to uh, transform energy. And I also do private readings. And in four days, well, in three days, when it turns to December 1st, in December and January, I do a 12 month reading. And it's the only time of the years that I do it. I do it in December and January. It's 12 months with clarifiers and we discuss the overall pattern of your 2022. So if you're interested in that, you can figure out how to get a hold of me below, okay? Yeah. And we throw on the message for the collective today. And that's where you wanna go, that's where you're gonna go. Oh, wow. Things are moving. All right, here we go. Okay. Okay. Body. Oh. <laughs> I was about to say, Jeffrey, the queen just got beheaded. <laughs> Uh, well, first of all, before I, I say anything else, patience is necessary. Okay, so patience is necessary. Okay, this is the nurturer. She really understands when to, well, both of them, it, it's interesting. I don't know why I'm combining them today, but um, nourishment, uh, understanding money, understanding when to spend money, when not to spend money very practical, very patient, very loving. Okay. Your mind is sort of at this place of, should I stay or should I go? Should I stay or should I go? Should I stay or should I go? It was sort of indecisive in a way. The spirit is, you know, whatever you bring to the table is what you're going to be met with. What, you know, it, it, there's this sense in this card very much of, you know, someone offering their heart and being met with someone else's heart. And there's a healing here. The grounding is in one's intuition. And the clarity, she's fabulous. This one is right. To me, this is the queen of timing. She knows exactly when to act, exactly what to do instinctually. So there's this real sense of, um, here you have this moment of, I don't know, should I stay, should I go? Sit and wait and be patient and you'll know exactly what to do instinctually to find you know, the love, the healing, the intuition. It's a really good day. It's a good what day and it's an interesting day. Every once in a while when we throw a stone, it hits at one of these crossroads where I have to read every single one of these for clarity. Um, for clarity, it starts in the root chakra right there, right there. And it says, uh, tying to the cosmic wisdom is needed for you to create a new base for yourself. And then you've got sacral chakra, which is creativity is needed to harmonize your intentions. Then you get the past. And when you look at the past from clarity, it means dilemma. You're in a dilemma that's not well-defined. It's something that comes out of your past life. It comes out of this life or karmic lives. Uh, but use the ideas you know from those past lives to move yourself forward. You're in water, which moves moving forward, getting out of it. You will have all the clarity you need very soon about where to follow, but you can follow many, many paths right now to resolve your life force. But then you got my all-time favorite space on the board. And it says, go for it. And that means to move on your intuition. So it means 
you know, your security's feeling it, your creativity's feeling it. The only blockage you have is a little bit out of your past. Right. It's time to move forward and go with your water, go, go with your intentions. That one stone is like a whole reading for the board, but what you've got that uh, clarity tied to in the sacral chakra is your mind and a mind is aligned with the creativity. So it's an idea, it's a really strong idea you have. So all that looks great. Then you get to your grounding and grounding in water doesn't mean what you might think. Grounding in water means grounding changes. Right now, you're setting up some long-term patterns. So the choices you make now are gonna be very profound over the long-term. And you've got spirit and heart and false. And spirit and false means somehow or another, that's part of this bit about the old past life biting into you. Your, your spirit kind of goes, but I that didn't work before. But having that spirit, I'd move that sucker right into there because spirit makes your heart come alive. And I think you fire your heart up, all the rest of this is going to follow. Mm -hmm. And right now, this is the stone that just fell out of my hand and went right in this space. And it's body in the third eye. And it means insight is needed and it needs to be expressed physically. So you just can't sit in your butt and do nothing. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to physically move forward, but it's somehow or another, the day after Thanksgiving is going to, we're all going to wake up and it's going to be somewhat of a different world. Yeah. Collectively. Yeah. I mean, this is why we get this, this card of intuition. Right. And this is why we get this card of, I don't know, should I stay? Should I go? Mm hmm Right. And, and I think to have the understanding is that whatever I'm going to put out there is what I'm going to be met with. Right. Yeah. But you, if you have confidence, when you have your body energy in your third eye chakra, think about it. If you could embody all of the sort of physical understandings and, and, and how you see the world and whop them up into that third eye, what a powerful point that is for you mm -hmm. to embody that, that energy in your, in your own physical self. Mm -hmm. so did you want to throw a clear clarifier do you want me to pull a crystal let's do both okay because this is a big day guys yeah going to a safe space mm -hmm. going to a safe space leaving behind the past going to a safe space i got cuprite which means rites of passage this is the feminine form of hematite hematite is one of the most strongest grounding stones but this is a feminine form so whatever form this energy is coming into our world in at this point in time, it's not going to be the assertive sort of Superman image we're used to. It's going to be almost sneaky. You're going to say, oh, that can't be that soft and gentle and bring that much change, but it will. Well, the interesting thing about the six of uh, uh, swords that I pulled, I always feel like that's a very matriarchal card. Mm -hmm. I always feel like the, um, I, I put it away already, but I feel like the woman in the boat is actually his mother. Mm -hmm. And so she makes the decision. It's, it's the, it's the matriarch who makes the decision. It's like, oh no, it's time to go. It's like it's, once grandma it's, says it's time to go, it's right. time to go. Yeah. Nona so says we're out of here, we're out of here. Energy here. So sometimes with people, I tell them, like I'm doing a personal reading. I'm like, what would your mother do? Yeah. Like that. What's with that card? One side of the boat has rough waters, and one side of the boat right, right, is extremely from, yeah. smooth. Exactly. And to me, that was always it seems like with those swords ahead of you, what a horrible thing to go through. But then I look back at times in my life when I thought I was going to be cut up by the experiences I was about to go through, and they ended up helping me define who I really was. Yeah, beautiful. So Lots of Okay, so on that, we are going to leave you today and we will be doing Blessing. this for the next for the next few weeks, I guess. Goodbye. Bye.